Hey guys, I device help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has officially released iOS 13.3 Developer Beta 1. Now, iOS 13.3 aims to bring quite a bit of improvements to the software as well as new features. And of course, we're going to go over some of the details here in this video. Now, iOS 13.3 Beta 1 is currently available right now as of the filming of this video only for developers. Public beta testers, you'll most likely see this populate on your device later this afternoon by the time you watch this video or tomorrow at the latest. Apple has been pushing out public beta testing software quickly after releasing developer software. So if you go to settings, general, and you head on over to software updates developers you'll see this populate right now and there's a few features in ios 13.3 that i've noticed right away after installing that are working such as transfer to homepod which i'm very excited about let's go here into about and show you the latest build number 17c 5032D. So there's some new features in iOS 13.3 that are coming in the future, like the iCloud folder sharing. That's a feature that's coming, as well as some screen time features. But some of the features not working on 13.2, which by the way is running on this device. I have it here for comparison. Uh, things like transfer to HomePod it wasn't working on 13.2, and I noticed that it is working on 13.3. We'll go over some of those details here. Now, 13.3 Beta 1 came in at approximately 4 gigabytes. Now, this is overwriting the entire OS if you're coming from iOS 13.2 to 13.3. It does not mean you'll lose 4 gigs from your device. As I always say, this is just overwriting. Now, one thing that's new on iOS 13.3, let's head on over here to screen time. And we'll see that under screen time settings, we now have communication limits. So, if you have screen time enabled on a child's device, right? Someone that you're monitoring the uh, online activity, you now have the ability to uh, limit communications during screen time and during downtime as well. So if you're allowed screen time, you can still limit who they can contact. You can also get a passcode here. You can select contacts only. You can also allow uh, group uh, communications as well. So if you have a child and you have screen time enabled during allowing screen time, you can also limit who they communicate with. Now you also have the downtime uh, duration of communication specified here by contacts. You must update the other devices as well for this to work. So 13.3 on your device, 13.3 on the other end as well. Now you also have allowed contacts editing right here as well. So now this feature is not fully baked, of course, this is beta one but apple will continue working on communications and i'll be doing a deeper dive into the software and i'll have a follow-up video here for you guys as you can already anticipate you guys already know i have my follow-up videos 24 hours and then a longer term follow-up where i talk about a deeper dive with the battery the performance and are the actual features working properly so be sure to subscribe for more follow-ups on 13.3 here shortly but communication limits something new under screen time settings here in ios 13.3 now i've also noticed new airpod icons or right here on the actual widgets for me uh this wasn't present before it looks like something new and as i mentioned right here transfer to home pod so if you're listening to music on 13.2 which is a feature that was meant to be released with 13.2 and you hold it next to the home pod it will not transfer that audio but let's go ahead and play music here on this iphone of course the volume is down to, to copyright if i hold the iphone next to the home pod that you see over here it should transfer the audio so there you go Right there it is it's transferring and you can see that the music is now playing on the home pod right there it says office so it's transferring over to home pod very happy and excited to see this now i've been trying over the past hour that i have ios 13.3 installed to try to do the audio sharing feature to work properly with other ios devices or ipad devices and uh no it isn't working properly as of yet that's also a feature that was initially intended for 13.2 but it wasn't working properly if you watch my videos here you already know so just a quick update iOS 13.3 some of the initial changes some of the initial improvements of course as I always say as I've already said 24 hours later you can expect my follow-up tomorrow with a deeper dive and then a weekly follow-up where I talk about a quick roundup with my YouTube community poll and everything involved to see how the software is performing now anticipation for iOS 13.3 to be released I'm expecting this software to hit the general public right before the holiday season sometime towards the mid-December but it's early 
early to tell we can expect as i mentioned five to six betas with the gold master copy but stay tuned here to the channel guys thank you for watching this quick update on ios 13.3 beta 1 and i'll see you guys real soon peace